Alrighty, so today is the day that I start pulling toys. This is kind of like a week long project of pulling toys to get for Christmas. So I give toys to basically everybody. So like local to my community and then a community that I used to live in like a half hour away, hour away from where I live now. And then um, I'm sending toys to Mexico too, to, to an orphanage. I have a friend of a friend who's donating toys to an orphanage and she's driving it down. So. That's awesome. Anyway, so I have um, toys that I hold on to and like collect throughout the year. So like I'll, um, you know, I used to get toys a lot just from doing YouTube. I don't do YouTube that much anymore. So I don't get as much free toys, but I did get, you know, some PG Mask stuff. And I have this huge list. Actually, I didn't print it out. It's on my phone, <laughs> but um, a huge list. Yeah, see, this is good for like a baby. Um, a huge list of toys, but this year, like normally I kind of divide it by like age and gender, where this year I'm just kind of blanket, like I'm gonna just give away as much toys as I have. And I feel like it's a little bit like loafs and fishes, uh, biblical <laughs> type story here because um, I don't have as much toys as I normally do, but I think I still have enough to like give to like several different communities. So um, I'm just going to my garage now. See, this is like a really, really good gift. Um, I'm just going through my garage now to like see what I can give. And then what is this? Oh, it's a projector. Huh. I don't remember <laughs> ever having that. Okay, yeah, my hair's all wet. See, we have a lot of people with these toys. Let me see. I can hear, and I'll find toys on clearance. So like, I'll find toys like this on clearance, and I'll hold on to it, and then give it out at Christmas time. So, it's an RC car, and then by the time I'm done, all these will be out. See, this thing seems cool. And I was like, I wanna give it to Ava, but I think it'd be better to give it to a kid who doesn't have much. All right, we are getting there. So um, some of the stuff where I feel a lot of this stuff is stuff I just find at the grocery store that was on clearance. So I'll like buy it up. Like this card game was a dollar and it's kind of hard to find things that like boys, you know, age 10, 11, 12, you know, I get a lot of teens um, that they would like. So um, this is good. Um, oh yeah, and then I got this too. This is like good for like an older teen kind of girl, these hair scrunchies. Um, then we have like laser eyes. We have a lot of really good stuff, but this is kind of what I've pulled so far. So I'm doing like kind of two groups right now. This one, I organized it by like girls, boys. This is actually a really cool PJ mask. It has like vehicles and everything. It's honestly really cool, but Worky, we have socks, Baby Yoda. Um, yeah, tons of PJ mask toys, like these little football helmets and then some Squishmallows. And then over here, I'm starting. So everything that I have, um, I'm also trying to like give about the same amount to Mexico for that orphanage. So the cool thing is um, I could give away toys, but then some other products. So like this is like a face mask. That'd be really cute. Um, like a little night light, um, toothbrushes. So like, um, socks. So like I'm doing gifts, but then also anything that might be useful too for these kids. All right, so this is what I have um, so far. So this is for the group that's kind of further away from me. All the boy toys, girl toys. I got to grab more for this group and then um, going to Mexico. This game is actually really cool. It's one of my favorite great games growing up, Mancala. And I feel like, you know, some of the older kids can play that. We have rainbow corns little cocoa stuffed animals. So um, this is just what I'm grabbing from my garage. And then I'm gonna head over to my storage unit in a sec and we'll pull from there. All right, so we have the girl bag bagged up and then the boy bag. I just had to grab a couple more things and I found like these flashcards. I know that's not fun, but it, you know, it's a good extra thing. And then the laser X is really cool. And then I also found in my house this, which is super awesome. It's like connect four but you shoot the board, this big board, with Nerf guns. Like, it is the coolest thing ever. So I think kids will really, really like this. Alrighty, we are donating toys here. You can put those in the pile. So, got Alex and Ava helping me out here. So we have a boy uh, pile here, so the storage unit. 
girl pile and then a pile of toys going to Mexico too. Um, the girl pile for this group that we're collecting for is done. So go ahead, bag that up. We have 27 boys. Okay, actually, can you count up the boy pile? We'll see how many. All right, you bag, Ava, ba count up the boy stuff. We're like running out of daylight a little bit. Um. Oh yeah, oops, oh you know what? Sorry, it's like so many toys. Okay, let's go in here. Hey, I found a million boy things. Oh yeah, go we'll see. All right, hey, um, count up the, wait, here, he holds the bag, you put it in. There we go, there we go. And then, hey, count them while you put them in too. And then we have all this, I forgot about this. Let's do it. There we go. PJ masks for everybody. Eight. There we go. Okay, so we have, yeah, this is actually a lot of good stuff. So we have, what's this? Vibe Girls. Yeah, let's put this here. Oh, we have some cool stuff. What's this? Pixel Plus. Okay, so you draw it. Oh yeah, and then there's a game. This is actually really, really cool. Put this in the boy pile. Okay, here we got some techie stuff. Um, I'm excited for the toys to go to Mexico because those kids at the orphanage will really appreciate them and like them. So, there we go. Oh, we have LOLs. Oh, what's this? Oh, this is cute. Aww, look how cute, it's a bunny. That's really cute. Fresh. Alrighty, it is getting dark. I am running out of space in my car. So if this is just for like one group. We have more here from the other group. And then this so far is what I have from Mexico. And so what I'm gonna have to do is bag this up, put it back in the storage unit, and then come back here tomorrow to like pack it up and deliver it. I told my friend, I'm like, how much space does your friend of a friend <laughs> in their car to bring down to Mexico? So she thought I was kidding. I'm like, no, I, I have a lot of toys. <laughs> So I'm excited for these kids to get out though because it's gonna be a really good Christmas for them. Did the orphanage talk to each other a lot? Oh yeah, like, they'd be like siblings, kind of, right? like in movies, you kind of seem alone there. Yeah, well, I don't know. Not really in real life. I'm sure, well, some of them might be siblings and then some might be friends and all that. So it, we're kind of losing daylight here. So yeah, let's pack what we can. Okay. All right, we are squeezed in with tons of toys. I had to leave tons of toys at the storage unit, but trunk is full, next year is full. We're gonna get very squeezy here. Squeezy. <laughs> All right, I feel like that's only appropriate <laughs> to have the cutie car holding all of the toys that we're donating. So the front, this is for Mexico. Everything in the middle is for this town like an hour away from me. And then up here's local. So just a little bit kind of from my town. Um, I still have probably 10 more bags for Mexico that I got to pick up from the storage unit tomorrow. I just ran out of time and space. So um, I'll start delivering these soon. Probably these ones tomorrow, these ones later this week, but it is amazing. So um, I was able to do this mostly by filming things for free. So. Um, yeah, I did get a lot of these toys for free and then a lot of them I bought myself, but um, I did a lot of free work for them. Like, so hours and hours of free work filming and taking pictures of toys to get these toys. So um, I know a lot of other YouTubers who only do things for paid for money. Um, but for me, it's always been worth it. Like, hey, I have the time, I can do this. Like I can film this and then I can make a kid happy for Christmas time. So that's my motivation here. And it's amazing. This is like one of my favorite things to do each year is grab all the toys and pack them up for kids. All right, I'm back with Mike's car. So it's bigger, we can fit more toys in. I have four bags. This is all going to Mexico. And I have like three bags at home for Mexico too. This is just like, 
<laughs> I feel like just the start. And I'm worried that there's not enough car space driving down to Mexico. So we'll see. Maybe like they'll take three cars or something. Because I'm like, I have so many toys. And this is just the start of it. I can finally now walk inside the storage unit. And some of the stuff like the bins, like, let's just Legos. Like, we'll keep that for our kids. But there's so many big things that we can donate, like especially up here with this little tyke stuff. So I'm going to just keep on digging. The kids are at school, but they helped me out for a few hours yesterday. So I'm like, well, I'll just finish the rest on my own. But I think it is really important to teach kids to give back. So I had like a long talk with the kids after we did everything and, you know, just teaching them to be grateful for what they have. And also like, this is such an easy thing for my kids to do, to like, spend a couple hours bagging up toys. And they change the lives of so many different kids. I like hundreds of kids, so um, I just love that.